My husband John is a London taxi driver. He's obsessed with his parking space. He drives me mad going on and on about it. I can't even use my car while he's out during the day because I have to save his space. Surely life's too short. Introducing the mother of all bus stops. Fully automated, state of the art, and designed to impress the most discerning of bus users. But more importantly, it's been designed to put Cabby John's love of his parking space to the test. This is Bus Stop 3000. And right on cue, John arrives. So, sorry, mate, say again. Is this your house? Oh, would you want to park up and we'll have a, uh, we'll have a chat? I think we need to. All right, yeah, all right, mate. Oh, he doesn't seem overjoyed. Hang on, hang on. Right, stop what you're doing, mate. Oh, mate. If you don't, I'm going to pull this over. Because you, right, you're breaking the law. You're putting the bus stop in front of our drive. Right. OK, well, sorry, look. Just look. take it away. Oh, we Just put it back on the lorry and get it out of here. So how do we get out of our house? Right. This is obviously taking you by surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Take me by surprise? Right. Please. I'll have a team of blokes down in five minutes to lift this. I, I understand. I just, I, I just, I'd like to have a conversation with you, sir, but I'd just rather, I we, I'd rather we calm down. Why no? Well, we, need, we clearly need to just talk it through, sir. An Englishman's parking space is his castle, and John is pulling up the drawbridge. Right. We're going to stop work. When this bus route came down here, we were told there would be no bus stops in this road at all. There would be a bus stop at that end and a bus stop in the main road. Right. Now, so far, John doesn't seem overly enthusiastic about this new addition to his street. So that goes there, and then what, they're going to put a big pavement out here? Or is this going to go out here? No, 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 the pavement's going to go that way. That's what the arrows are. So that they were going to drop it back. Well, 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 this is my pro You can't put a payment. This is my property. <laughs> if I put a brick wall here, that's going to scatter your plans totally, isn't it? Well, I hope you wouldn't, because that. No, I would, because this is my property. <laughs> Boys, do you want to maybe show him what this this stuff does? Because that'll. Well, you say that, John, but we haven't had the chance to showcase the amazing array of high-tech features that Bus Stop 3000 boasts. Yeah, integrated 3000-watt floodlight system. He's going to love that. It's a Which the idea is? It's like a beacon of light goes up, so that if, like, within half a mile, you can kind of see the like where it's coming in. So if you're in an helicopter, you can see where you can get on the bus. Believe me, that, that'll wake me up. Okay, maybe the lights aren't to your taste, John, but how about this? The Bus Stop 3000 has a fully interactive red button. No bus will ever pass you by when they hear this. That's it. So the idea, and you know that being a cabbie. That's the bus request button. You press that and the tyrant goes off, you've got to run down the shelter. OK, well, we've saved the best till last. The Bus Stop 3000 has its very own radio station, pumping out all John's favourite dubstep hits 24 hours a day. We love the airways, launching our new, new, new station, 3000 FM. That's Bus Stop Radio 3000 FM. Coming it's not, it's not that button, it's the other one. Start on the left, on, if you control our... Here we go. Yeah, it's hard to gauge, but I'd say he's probably not a fan. Even different sort of music help on the radio station, like classical or like or talk like talk radio, because cabbies. Finally, here comes a bus carrying one guilty passenger who set the whole thing up. Wife Yvonne. I'll tell you what, you got plenty of bad. Like, sorry, lad, because I was going to clump on it. <laughs> You knew an old, didn't you? <laughs> you come out here, you coward. <laughs> they all know what your parking's like. <laughs> oh. Press the button, you've earned it after all that. Go on, you know how it works there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We really love you, Farmer. Cabby John really defended his beloved driveway from the off, proving that every man's home is his castle and also his off-road parking bay. I suppose probably we should have taken it with us when we left, but I'm sure John won't mind. Station 2000 FM. 